Hey everyone, this is Mukesh Otwani once again from learnhyperinnovation.com. Today in this lecture, we will talk about how you can run your automated test in headless mode. Now, what is headless mode? First of all, so headless mode is basically when your browser is actually executing your test, but you are not able to see the UI. You are not able to see the user interface. It's actually running in the background. Everything is same. Only thing is, it's not running in the foreground. It's running in the background. Second question, why do we really need the headless mode? Okay, so basically when you're developing the scripts locally, it works fine. So when you're developing, it's fine. But once your script is ready, once your script is stable, you will be executing your test on the virtual machines or you will be running your test on the Docker container or you might have to run your test across multiple agents where the UI is not enabled. Take example of, let's say you want to run your test on AWS EC2 instance. You booked a Linux system that does not have a UI. So all you can do is you can run the test in headless mode. So again, depends on the requirement. You might have to run your test in headless mode. So how do we run it? Let's see. But before that, let me highlight a few things. Initially, when Selenium was, you know, I, I'm talking about 2015-16. We also had multiple drivers that time. We had Phantom JS driver, which used to run our test in headless mode. But now in the Selenium, we have this feature by default where you can run your browser in headless mode again recent changes so i will show you what actually changed in selenium latest versions sometimes you will get the deprecated warnings how you can fix it how you can use the new features let's see so i already have a project here i'm using selenium 4.9.0 at the time of recording and the concept will remain same for the future releases i guess if they note if they don't change in case they change i will keep you posted so I'm going to create a new class and uh, let's say the test in headless mode. I'm taking public static void main, but in case if you're using test ng or j unit, you can continue with at the rate test annotation. Now let me create a web driver instance. Okay, so I'm creating a reference for web driver and I want to invoke Chrome driver. Now the moment you create object here, okay, you will see you are getting multiple options. So first one is default argument where you don't have to pass anything. But if you see this constructor, this constructor is asking you Chrome options. So using Chrome option, you can customize the browser settings. Suppose you want to change certain arguments, you can do that here. And this is exactly what we need in order to run our test in headless mode. So as of now, since we don't have, it will consider null. Now let me create object of Chrome options class. It's a separate class altogether, which is coming from org.openqa.selenium.chrome package. So let me create object of this class, Chrome options. And let me call a method. Now this method used to work with the previous releases. So if I say opt.set headless. So this is the method that we used to uh, use earlier with Selenium versions and as the name says set headless, it accepts boolean as an argument. Boolean means true or false. When you don't pass anything by default, it will consider false. It means your test will run in a headed mode like normal execution. So if you want to run your test in headless mode, you have to make it true. It means now your test will be running in the headless mode. Don't worry about the strike. It's a deprecated warning. I will show you how to fix it. But if I pass this argument, which is OPT in the constructor, now this web driver session, which will be starting, it will run in a headless mode. So for example, if I open any web application, okay, let me take any random application because this feature is not dependent on any, any application. It's a browser feature. And I will quit this before this, I will get the title. And I will say title is driver dot get title. Maybe I should use some other site. Let's take Amazon so that we can get some unique title. First of all, let me remove this so that you will understand how this headed mode works. So right now when I execute, even though whatever statement we have added, it's of no use at this moment because I'm not using this OPT. So test is running in the normal headed mode. You are able to see the execution and this should give me the title spend less smile more beautiful title 
So actually I closed the browser so it is not able to capture. I purposely closed. Let me run it once again and it will give me the title. I should not close this forcefully. So let it run. It's starting the session again. Okay, let it load and it will run for sure. So, but you are able to see that it's running in headed mode. Yes, title is Amazon.com spendless smile mode. Now, if I want to run in headless mode, just pass this OPT in the constructor and execute the test again. This time execution will be exactly same. You will not see the UI, but your behavior will remain same. You will get the title and it will close the browser as well. Right now, I'm just printing the title, but let's say you want to run end to end scenarios in the headless mode. It will work smoothly without any issue. Yes, it's printing the title and we are able to get result. Now, how it is possible that it is still giving me warning, but it is running in the headless mode. Now in the recent versions, they have deprecated this. So you can see one annotation called deprecated. It means right now it's deprecated in future. It might get removed. So whenever you get any deprecated warning, it's recommended that see the alternative. What is the recommendation and try to implement it. So initially this method was available. So you can just add hyphen hyphen headless as an argument and it used to work still working, but in future you will might miss this. Now just see the important update here. So if you're using browser version from 94 to 108 at the time of recording, let me check what is the version of the browser. So if I go to help section about Chrome right now, it's 113. So try to understand the documentation. It says if you're using browser version 94 to 108, you can use this as an argument called hyphen hyphen headless equal to Chrome. But with Chrome 109 and above for us, it's 113. So we have to use this argument and good thing. They have also given the snippet that you can use this method called add arguments and pass this argument. So let's use this one, which is the recommended way now. So instead of calling this method, you just add opt dot uh, add arguments. Now you can add argument as a list of string or variable length argument. Since I'm using only one string, I can directly use hyphen hyphen headless equal to new. Now you will not see any warning and it will run in the headless mode. So let me remove everything. Execute once again. And it will run in the background and you will get the results. See, it's showing you that session is starting. Okay, but it's not showing anything on the UI. And we will get the result. But before we end the video, I want to highlight one important part. See, when you're running your test in a normal mode, you will be able to see browser and you can close it. But when the test is running in the headless mode, you will not be able to see how many instances are running. So it is a good practice that whenever you are running your test, always call driver.quit or driver.close. If you have multiple browser sessions, then close and quit both. Otherwise, if you have single sessions, calling driver.quit. Right now, I'm not using testng or junit, but in junit testng, we have something called after annotation. So once your test is done, your code will execute. Let's say after test, after class, after method, whatever you use, it will execute that piece of code and you can terminate the browser session. Very important update. In case if you're running with headless mode, please give a try. In case if you face an issue, let me know. And if you are looking for a specific video for a specific topic, let me know in the comment section and I will try my best to make the video on that particular topic. In case if you are new to this channel, then make sure you subscribe to this channel, share with your friends and colleagues and I will see you in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.